Hi, my name is Catherine Ramdeen, and I am an actor as well as an animal rights activist. Um, and I'm here to talk about COVID, COVID life, quarantine, and how this has affected me, um, affected my life, uh, the people I love and care about. Um, and uh, I think it's really important to talk uh, about what we're all experiencing because I know me personally, uh, I have a disability. Um, I have something called major depressive disorder as well as a general and social anxiety disorder. So um, the weird thing is, is uh, when I go out, I... I'm a fairly introverted person, and, uh, you know, besides being an actor, it's, it's confusing, I know, but um, I'm fairly introverted, and wearing a mask, um, and when I go outside, I usually uh, have headphones in and a hat on uh, um, because of my anxiety, and so wearing a mask, and as well as the physical distancing that um, the government is um, mandating, and, uh, and, and as they should, um, because COVID-19 um, has taken a lot of people's lives and anything that we can do to protect those that are most vulnerable to this virus, we have to, we must. Um, in other ways, uh, COVID has been, uh, I think a really challenging time for a lot of reasons. Me specifically, um, my, one of my siblings, uh, they had a baby and this was a really big deal because, uh, it was kind of like the first baby, you know, in the, the, the little group and my siblings and, and I have not met my niece yet. Um, I mean, I've seen her on like Zoom and everything, but I haven't held her in my arms and I haven't kissed her and I haven't felt her skin, you know, um, and at first I thought I was okay with it. I'm like, okay, this is fine. You know, it's virtual, it's fine. And virtual is definitely good enough, but it is no replacement for being able to be with your loved ones. and. I will not go visit my niece until it is safe to do so. And um, it's been a year since I've been able to see her. I also had um, a convention I really, really wanted to do this year. Um, uh, and this was over in Birmingham. And of course it was postponed um, as it should have been till next year. So my life, my work has been affected in pretty much every way. Um, because of COVID, COVID-19, um, and this coronavirus. Sorry, I'm just reaching down because um, I also wanted to show you and remind everyone that I really want everyone to be healthy. I really want everyone to, to realize that we can get through all of this together. That's what we have to do. We have to work together. And what that means is wearing masks. Um, so I catch the train a lot in uh, my city and uh, my city has made it mandatory to wear masks on the on the train. So you know, like it's actually pretty great. I go, I have like I have two masks. So I have this one. This is my what one, which I don't really wear actually that much often, and it kind of looks sort of like a. I don't know. It's not that great, but I really love this beautiful one. And uh, you know, they're super inexpensive. Um, I got this off Amazon. So um, yeah. So I think uh, I think that we can all get through this. And I think we're actually going to get stronger because of it, because struggle makes us stronger. Um, I love you. I, I wish you health. I wish you and your loved ones health. And I, I please ask that you wear a mask uh, when you're around other people and in public. Um, it can save a life. Indeed, it has. Thank you. Uh, this is Catherine Randine. And please stay safe and healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>